This is Captain Mark from Searcher Sport Fishing with another Tackle Tip Thursday. Thanks to our anglers for sending in suggestions and questions through social media and giving us uh, ideas about topics that we can give uh, advice on and we're going to touch on a couple of those today. The first one was, uh, can somebody talk about underhanding uh, a bait in the stern and getting to the windward side of the boat with wind in your face? And when we stop the boat to try and catch a fish, whether it's on a kelp paddy or we see a big school or, you know, just fish on the surface, then uh, whoever's running the boat will stop the boat and come on the PA and say, okay, everybody on the port side, wind in your face. So this is just a, a poor replica of a boat, but here's the bow, here's the bait tank, and this is the port side. And you'll see that in blue here, we have wind coming from this direction, and the green circles are anglers. And so these anglers are on the correct side of the boat in the stern and on the port side with the wind in your face. And so what happens is as the boat is drifting and going the same direction as the, uh, as the wind is going, it's pushing the boat this direction. Um, when you cast your bait out, it starts off straight ahead like this. And the longer you're in a drift, then your line is going to start going towards the bow like this. So eventually everybody's line goes towards the bow. Most sport boats, the way they're designed with the superstructure and the wheelhouse and everything and more surface area in the bow, the boat gets pushed this direction along with this direction. So your lines end up going towards the bow. And so we talk about people on, in this instance, on the port side, you're gonna wanna move this direction to stay in front of your line. And so when you, as you move this direction and stay in front of your line, that helps prevent tangles and uh, it helps you keep track of your bait. And what we say is that if you're fishing in the stern area and you make it all the way to the bow, that's probably two to five minutes uh, of time. And then from the bow, you can wind your bait in if you haven't get, gotten a bite. And then you can go down the, the uh, starboard side into the bait tank and get another bait and then cast out in the, in stern. the stern and do that same process again. So that really helps eliminate tangles. Uh, there's no way to uh, eliminate all the tangles, but this is something that if everybody follows suit with this, then um, there's less tangles and that's what we strive to. So. Remember now, wind in your face, windward side. If you cast out on the stern here, in the stern, with the boat drifting this way, then your line is gonna end up going like this. And so you need to move to your right and get around this corner and then continue going to your right. Now, maybe you have, you know, you've reached the two to five minute uh, time span and you're only here well you can still wind in and go back to the bait tank and start over again the one thing that we stress at the beginning of the stop is that everybody spread out on this port side or the windward side you don't have to be in the stern to get a bite with me my favorite spot to fish is in the bow I start in the bow so spread out as long as your line is on the windward side going away from the boat, then you have a chance to get a bite. Now, one thing we want to talk about here, just if you're an angler and you fish on this downwind side, on the starboard side, that's not good because the boat drips, drifts, is drifting this direction. And so your line ends up underneath the boat. If you don't get a bite, then there's a good chance that you're going to get a tangle with one of the anglers on the 
the um, port side on the windward side. So wind in your face is the term that you will hear. And uh, a lot of times it's breezy out there. And so that will be your key. And the crew will give you directions on which side of the boat to fish and help you cast out if you need. And so that is what this is demonstrating. Hopefully the visual will help you out so that when you come out this season, you'll remember to start off with the wind in your face.